Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Right now we're going to learn how to play Hell's Bells. We're going to look at all the riffs today. In a different video, we're going to take a look at the uh, solo. So let's just start here with the opening intro riff. It's pretty simple. It's going to have the 7th fret on the D string and the 9th fret on the G. So you're going to start there, hit the open A string, then pick the G and the D string. Hear this. Now pick up the little finger, and you're gonna have this the seventh fret on the G now, and the seventh on the D, and then the open A. Now just move that down two frets, and pick across the G, D, and the A strings again. Then back up to the seventh fret, and then after you come back over to the 7th fret, you're going to hit the A, open A twice at the end. So we have this all together. Then start over. Now this last, the second time through it, you're going to, now when you come back up to the 7th fret, you're just going to hit the G string. So just put your little finger there, and you're going to hop back and... Just play this power chord of the 3rd fret on the 5th string, 5th fret off the D. Then move your 1st finger back 1 fret, and then the open A power chord. And that starts it all over again. Alrighty, so that acts as the intro, but it's also the chorus of the song. So when we get there, we won't have to learn anything new. All right, now we just have what is called the really the pre-verses before the whole the vocals come in, but the whole band's playing. And there's two rhythm, there's a rhythm guitar part going. There's really two rhythm guitar parts going at the same time. There's an Angus's part, which we'll take a look at here, and then the actual verse rhythm is what Malcolm is doing underneath it. And when we we'll take care of that when we get to the verse next. All right, so Angus's part here is going to be this. <laughs> Alright, pretty simple based around that opening riff. We just have, you know, obviously seven and nine here, seven on the D, nine on the G, back to that bar on the seventh fret, and back to the seven nine. So this is just on the two middle strings. And then jump back here, you're gonna play the seven to the fives, back to the sevens. End it the same way you did uh, the chorus or the intro. All right, so underneath that is the verse rhythm, which we're also, when the vocals come in, they're both just doing this. And it sounds like this. All right, so this is based off the open A power chord. So it's just the, the open A string, second fret on the D, then the D string open with it, then back to the second fret there on the D. Hop up to this D power chord up here, fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D and the G. Hit those three strings, then just hit fifth fret bar here at the D and the A string, and then back to the previous chord. And the same ending as before. All right, so that's what's going on during the verse. All right, so from there we have a pre-chorus uh, rhythm, and it's gonna sound like this. Alright, 
So it's pretty simple. It's based off a D power chord, basically. Just the second fret on the uh, G string, third fret on the B string. Now you can hit the open D and the open A with this if you want. Just gonna hit the chord, then pick up the first finger to play the open G, and that bring it back down. So we have this. So we did it twice. Then you're gonna play the basically this. Uh, just keep your third finger where it's at. You're gonna have your um, second finger at the third fret on the A string. Pick that with the open strings in between those two. Just those four little strings. Then move your second finger over to the third fret on the sixth string. Just strum the open strings with still that same note going up here on the uh, B string as well. You're gonna be muting that A string with the bottom of your second finger, so make sure you keep that thing muted. Second half of it is played just like the power chord figure we did here at the fifth fret, but it's just up at the seventh fret. And you have the low E string in there now, too, as well. Then you go the D chord that we did earlier, the A power chord, and back up to the riff. And you're going to end this with the G power chord. All right, so then that takes us to the chorus, which, like we talked about before, is the same as the intro. Nothing else to learn there. The only other part we have to take out uh, is the uh, solo rhythm. So this is going on underneath the guitar solo. So that's the first half of it at least. It's just off the A power chord. And then the third fret here on the sixth string. Back to the A power chord. Then hit that A a couple times and go to that D chord. And then the same ending as that we've been doing. All right, so you do that riff four times. Then it goes to the pre-chorus rhythm. All right, so the second half of the uh, solo, the rhythm guitar part for the solo is the pre-chorus. All right, so that's all of the riffs of the song. It's a great rhythm track to do, even if you never get to do in the solos. Uh, but if you do want to do the solos, stay tuned. We'll have those coming soon. All right, I'll see you then.